Hey everybody and welcome to part 5 of Sly Cooper and the Devious Raccoonus. Dude, I don't need you to talk to me anymore. So I counts the keys that you previous collect previously collected as well, so that's good. Anyways, hop in. Hop in. There we go. Let's blast to the boss. Chicka chicka. Achoo! The Eye of the Storm. <laughs> I'm assuming this is just a boss fight. How delightful! We have a guest. The only thing is... I hate unexpected guests! Listen, Raleigh. Wipe up my family and steal what's mine? You better expect company. Oh, I'm ever so sorry. How sloppy of me not to finish the job. Obviously, we should have snuffed you out as well. So, without further ado, let me make amends by what? Bloating to gargantuan size and squashing you like the insignificant bug that you are. Bring it on. Fat, so. Alright, so what do we do here? I don't know what the whole concept is, but let's just run away from them for a bit. Like, honestly, it's been so long since I fought these bosses. Alright. Wait, what? Run! Okay, so you can't... Okay, um... Exactly, what are we supposed to do here? Oh, you just have to do that, okay. Now we gotta actually do what I was doing. There we go, he's gone. Well, halfway dead, but you know what I mean, right? Oh. God damn it. I thought I had him, but... His technique's a little bit different than it was. Okay. So for this one... Like, he's really easy to dodge. He's actually not that big. There we go. Huh. I get why it's called Eye of the Storm, though, because you're in the storm machine, you know? And it's the one creating it. So, Eye of the Storm. It's a catchy little name. Pretty witty. I'm assuming it's only two more hits, right? Huh. Oh, he stops on the one that you can hit him on. Okay, I see how it is. Alright, now we're doing this again. This isn't much of a threat, dude. Whoa, it's jump rope now. Get out of here, Rally. You've beaten me. Well, gloat or you what, Sly Cooper? Frog legs. You're no match for Mugshot. My villainous cohort in Utah, you will see. Mesa City is so well guarded, a snake couldn't slither in without setting off alarms. <laughs> okay, he just died in the, the water. section of sure. the devious raccoonus held detailed instructions on how to perform my ancestor Ryoichi Cooper's ninja spire jump. A technique he developed while sneaking into the thickly fortified castles of feudal Japan. Finding a way off Raleigh's boat got a little tricky with the untimely arrival of Inspector Fox, who, failing to find me, busted Raleigh and his crew. 
Isle of Nice. We machine out of commission. Boats found their way back onto the ocean, and the mystery of the Welsh Triangle faded from memory. My gang and I loafed around England for a while, enjoying the pleasant weather, and then headed back home, excited for our next heist. Okay. I took to go the, the next part. Of pinning your mission map up on the wall. You can use it to warp directly to any levels you've already visited. So other than the um uh like I guess um time trials, we beat it. Time trial, I believe you don't need to actually play. We're again. all set to go to Mesa City. Okay, let's go to Mesa City, Utah, USA. It had been a while since I'd been back in the U.S. Next up, the notorious mugshot. Ruthless muscle of the fiendish thigh. What he lacked in brains, he definitely made up for in brawn. Turns He's out scary. it wasn't always that way. He grew up as the run of the litter. <laughs> the neighborhood weakling. The only friends he could turn to were usually found on the big screen. It was there that he spotted his first gangster, and he knew instantly that that's what he wanted to be. He spent the rest of his youth working real hard to get there, fueled on his dreams of great power and respect. With enough perspiration, he realized that dream. He'd become a hard-boiled, street-brawling, tough-as-nails gangster, ensuring that he'd never be kicked on or pushed around again. Mesa City, huh? I've always wanted to go to that thriving American boom town. Sly Cooper in Sunset. Sunset Snake Eyes. Okay, Mesa City. Here we come. A rocky start. Pug gambling. Okay. How many bottles are here? 40! Oh man. It's gonna be annoying, isn't it? Though I really do like the level design here. It really reminds me of a, a PS. Like just a PlayStation style game, which I like. Hey, Sly, I thought you said Mesa City was going to be loud and busy. This looks more like a ghost town. Something's happened. Where is everyone? I don't know, but it's starting to give me the creeps. What do you say we take off? And miss all the fun? Besides, I want to try out that new move I got from Raleigh's section of the Thievius Raccoonus. You mean the Ninja Spire Jump? Yeah. Do me a favor and read me the instructions again. To land safely upon diminutive points, leapeth lively and presseth the triggering device with the round geometrical object emblazoned upon it. So jump and hit the circle button to land on narrow spots. That's a rough translation. A rough translation. It literally just allows us to jump across, you know, ropes and stuff if there's little objects. It literally becomes a staple of the entire game. Hey, big brawly dude. I'm here to collect all my bottles because I got 40 of these damn things. I don't think it'll be too much harder, it's just more of them, you know? Boink, and a boink. And a doggy over there. Hello. Get out of here. Why do you guys have, like, pet dogs? If you guys are dogs, why do you have pet dogs? Are they, like, the retards of your group? I'm sorry if that's offensive, but it just seems like it, you know? And I don't mean, like, mentally slow. I just mean, you know, you know what I mean, right, guys? I just couldn't think of a word, honestly. Swing, Koopa, swing. I did not say Koopa. I mean, Koopa, I said Koopa. <laughs> yeah, I didn't say the word that I intended to say. Sure. Now, I have a question. Did I miss anything over there? I don't think I did. Oh, thug! It's the thug life. I want to destroy cactus. Apparently I can't destroy cacti in this game. Oh. Can I climb this? No. Oh, what's this? Those flashing lights. The latest in high-tech security. 
Electronic floor sensors. Step on them and you're a goner. <laughs> nice touch. They're safe to walk on while flashing, but it also means they're about to switch to a different sector. Sounds easy enough to actually deal with, in my personal opinion. But, ah, more bottles! And also a checkpoint. I don't know, I really find this part of the game really cool looking. Though I remember the boss being a little bit of a dick. Probably being like one of the um, more difficult of the five bosses in the game. At least second most difficult in the entire game. Dude, go back to prison where you belong. Uh, stink criminals. Think they can stop Sly Cooper? <laughs> you have another thing coming, man. Oh, that's what that is. Sweet. Oh, great. Greaser! Oh, he's your typical ranged enemy. Okay. Yeah, a little more than halfway done. So now we got crushing devices. Go figure. And more pets. Still think dogs having pet dogs is weird, you know? They remind me of the dog from Tom and Jerry. Why do I got like the the creep music going on here? Like, you know, where you're supposed to creep around? Oh, that's easy enough. Oh, and uh Woohoo! Come on, you thugs for Thugs for less. <laughs> thugs for less enemies. You know, thugs for less from Ratchet and Clank 2. Going commando. Also, there are some bottles up here that I would much appreciate getting. 32 out of 40. It might be a, a bigger level too, just because we're going into the city. We're not actually there yet. Yeah, we still got another checkpoint, so that clearly means there could be room for more bottles along the way, so hopefully we didn't miss any. This game is a little more straightforward with what type of, like, like levels it is. You know, it's just, like, straight path, pretty much. Um, in the next games, getting everything is a lot harder. Are you serious, Sly? Man. I don't get that sometimes. Oh. No, oh, wait. There, deactivate everything. God, now I gotta. Oh. Well, here's the ending of the level, apparently. Don't wanna get the key yet. Because if we do that, then we clearly miss out on stuff. Wait, also. Where the hell be the vault? Huh. No, I can't go up there. No, don't you dare fall in there, man. No, nothing there. Oh, wait a minute. I'm pretty sure it has something to do with in here. I remember having to backtrack when I first played this. Something about this one that you actually have to backtrack on. Okay. With that done, and out of the way, let's do this. Hmm. Okay, nothing here. Nothing there. Get over the edge! Oh, apparently it doesn't actually fall over the edge. What is this? Wait, there's the vault! So then... Where the hell is the bottle? Oh, I did not mean to zoom in. God, I hate how you have to push the button again to deal with it, you know? Anything around here, maybe? Wait a minute, found it! It's funny, because you actually do have to backtrack quite a bit. 
I don't want to do that. I don't want to die. Because hey, here's where the vault is. And the ending of the level is way up there after pretty much a lot of the level. Press the circle to enter the vault code. I know, Bentley. A little bit of higher mathematics and voila! Dial in 314. Wait, how is it more mathematics if, um, uh, or like a lot of mathematics if these guys are just dumb thugs? They're just burly. I don't know what this is. Outstanding! Top of the you morning. You covered Rob McCooper's patented explosive hat technique. Use the triangle button to toss your cap. Then use the triangle button again to detonate it. Better back off to a safe distance first. Ha! <laughs> Our hat is now a mine. That's actually an interesting ability. I think it's kind of, I think it's kind of unique. You know, like, I really like how you build on your ancestors, but while sticking true to your modern roots. Like your ancestors have to probably had to put up with a lot less than you. You have to deal with a lot of modernized weaponry and stuff. They sure they had bows and they had stuff like that, but. You can't tell me that they had like a lot of um, guns and lasers and stuff like that, especially like the medieval ones and like the Japanese ones and stuff like that. Maybe like Tennessee Cooper and stuff, or they like, got to like the old west and stuff. But honestly, other than that, I don't really see much. Here we go. And we beat the level, which now we have to go through the door, apparently. Here we go! Kerchink! Woohoo! Level! Yeah. Mugshots turf! Oh, isn't it funny how the game, like, is never in full screen? And this is not a level. No, it's not an actual level. It's gonna be our base of operations, I assume. And I assume there's gonna be yep. Well, this mugshot certainly isn't shy. Okay, so we know he's here somewhere, but how are we supposed to find him? Mesa City is a big place. Given that he's a bulldog, it seems only reasonable to assume that he chose to live in a giant fire hydrant. That's some sound logic, Sly. Now you just need to find a way to break into the building's base. Oh, I'm sure I'll think of something. We need three keys to get in, so in the next episode, we will get some of those keys. Stay awesome, folks!